It's time to welcome to the show F1 technical expert Albert Fabra. Great to hey, see Russell. you down under. Pleasure. I'm excited by what I'm seeing on the desk, I have to say, Albert. I'm scared. <laughs> You're excited, I'm scared. <laughs> well, I can't wait. Our hot topic on this week's show is the weight of a Formula yep. 1 car. And a fuel tank takes up quite a lot of that weight, I imagine, especially at the start of a race. Yep. So let's explore how a fuel tank works. Yeah, the first thing to uh, try to understand is how is a fuel tank made or what how is a fuel tank? Here we have a smaller fuel tank. This is not a Formula One. Formula One are bigger, but just to show that they are not uh, solid. They are not rigid. You can push as much as you can. This is a single rubber bladder piece that is made by uh, Kevlar fiber right. with a coating of uh, elastomer, like a rubber, that it makes it really soft. So this is because if we have a heat, if we have an accident, we don't want to make a crack. Yeah, absolutely. Want... No splitting and no, no. leakage. So we, we have no leaks. We have something that if there is fuel going off the fuel tank, we can have a big fire and we don't want that. So that's the reason we can try to puncture, we can try to hit it and never will have a, a, a leak on it. Fantastic. Some of them, you, you see I showed this, this cut to see what's going on in. Some of them, they put this foam, but it's not mandatory. So some teams are not going to uh, to have it in, in, in the car. And I guess that can also be taken out then to save weight. Yes, it's, it's very light. Very it's light. very it light. Very but they, light. They, they try to take, take it off as much as they can because it's, if it's 100 grams, they can take it off. They can take it off. So some of them don't, don't use it, but it's not, it's not a problem for them to use. Fantastic. I like it already. Okay, yeah. let's, let's So we have the fuel really, tank. Uh, really and then what part. I've done here is uh, it's just a, a fake fuel tank <laughs> to uh, show how internally a fuel tank uh, works. Obviously, this is uh, water. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not fuel. We don't want fuel no. here. <laughs> and one of the targets of the, of the teams with the fuel is to take all the fuel they have to the engine, because if we left fuel in the tank, we have weight that is not good for the car, and it's fuel that we don't use. We, we want to finish the race with the liter that FIA wants yeah. to check if the fuel is the same that is uh, going on through the homologation. So. The teams are making different systems, different pumps and different pipes to try to get all the fuel from the tank. That's a target. How they do it? Well, uh, you know, a fuel tank is a, has a big area. Yes. So uh, maybe when you go to a corner, the, the liquid moves to one side. When you go to the other corner or to a braking, the moves, it moves in front. So what they do, they place very small fuel pumps, very low pressure fuel pumps, on each corner. Some teams have four, some others three, some others two, like this uh, fuel tank yeah. that is capable to take the fuel from one side when the fuel is moving to that side and another one when it's moving to the other, front and rear. And then they pump the fuel into the collector, that is mm -hmm. this thing that normally is between one, between one, two liters there. We have a high, higher pressure fuel pump. Is, the, is it called the premier pump? Okay, if you want, we can I would yeah. like to try. Do you want to try? Work. Okay. Absolutely. So, yes. Tell me what I need to do. Uh, uh, it is the lower pump, the higher button, because we are upside down. So you can. No, not because we're in Australia. <laughs> we are in Australia. <laughs> okay. So you can press the the so button. The higher pump. The higher one. Yeah. And we see that the pumps will take Woo! the fuel. Yeah. There is a little <laughs> leak. But they take the fuel and put it in the collector. Yeah. So very low pressure. There is no pressure here, though. So we cannot feel. That you, you can stop it and then at the same time what we should do is to switch on this premier fuel pump that is called that is taking the fuel from the collector okay it's a smaller so we are sure that we always have fuel here and we send it to the engine right right so that's the, the bottom the bottom, bottom, bottom one bottom. yeah okay so I'm is the bottom we are upside down in australia okay so you can we see that this pump uh -huh. is pumping the fuel that goes to the engine okay and it's back to the fuel tank Okay, you can stop. Okay, in this place we should have a third pump. Right. As this one is the same for everyone. All the teams are uh, using the same fuel pump. But it's a fuel pump. This is electric. You see the connections. They are all electric. But there is a fuel pump that is mechanical, and it pumps the fuel up to 500 bars. That is the maximum that the uh, regulations allow to the teams. So same pass for everyone. Even the pipes are the same one. Don't want the half yeah, Don't want any tricks on yeah. uh, on the fuel system that we, we, we know from the from, from the, the past. past. <laughs> so this is more or less uh, how the thing it was. But what happened, uh, in the, even in this situation, if we uh, go to Silverstone and we start moving the car. Magazine Beckett's. Beckett's. Yeah. So it's possible that at some point, 
when the car is uh, in a corner, there is pumps that are having no fuel to pump. Yeah, almost Even, redundant to that yeah, point. Yeah, mainly when the, the, the fuel tank is lower. We see, when there is only a, li a little fuel, when we do a corner, it's moving. So we're gonna buffer. We're gonna buffer the fuel tank with this. Okay. This is like a wall with a trap door, yep. but it's only moving in one way. So it's only allowing the fuel, the fuel to go in one way. Mm -hmm. So let's put it in this place, like this. I love these designs, Alva. It's like a little cat. Okay, pack. so the fuel can go up to where the pump is, but it cannot go backwards. Right. Okay, let's put so another one. So you like a little reservoir. Yeah, I need your help now. Yeah. Hold this, let me take the pipe off. Yeah, you put it. Look at that. You're going. I'm, I'm yeah, not qualified for this. Push it backwards as much as you can. That's very good. <laughs> now I have a sticker. <laughs> and now uh, we're going to do the same thing. Look, look what. Oh no, we, we put it a turn around. <laughs> it was all going so well. It was going too I have well. To change the, <laughs> I have a, Here we go. We put it on the other way around. Let me help yes. you. Yeah. That's it. We need the fuel to go on that way. Perfect. There we go. All yeah. sorted. There we go. And we put again this pipe. Mm -hmm. You put it on the other one. Yes. Where was it going? In the in the pump. Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. Can I? Yeah. Here we go. Ready. So, and now we are going another lap to okay. make it. Uh, how do you call? It? In Silverstone, and like, we try yeah. to do the same thing. Okay. So, and, am I pressing a button? Yeah. And what we see is that there is plenty more of fuel on the sides than in the middle. Yeah. So it means that the fuel is staying on the sides and the pumps are doing their job. And if you had more pumps, yeah. you would have to have Better. more parts or yes. compartments? Or yeah, 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 you have a lot of departments. They, they, they buffle the, the, the fuel tank in many, many different areas. So you are sure that you are using... Oh, I think it's flying. You, you are sure that when you are using all the fuel you have. But this is even more difficult when the fuel is overheating, when you have very, very low fuel in the tank, mm -hmm. And you call a slush when there is slushing, a lot of yeah, a slushing, yeah, there's a lot of yes. slushing, and the fuel is hot. Then you start create bubbles on the fuel, and that may create a vacuum where even having fuel in the tank, you have no liquid to be pumped from, and from that the collector. Is what happened with Red Bull in Bahrain? We don't know. The vacuum. They spoke Maybe. about a vacuum. Can I show you something which is right? Yes. Can I use that to try to explain what happened? I now feel like I'm going to do surgery, Albert. What there. the team's done? Yes, go Can for we it. try? Wait, let's put a... Oh, I need to... Get ready. Fill it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, what, the, what I've done is to put a, a shrink here. Yes, a carbonated okay. drink. Yeah. Yeah, it's water. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is one thing. I will put pressure on the tank. Imagine that we can put pressure on the tank to push the, the liquid, to push the fuel yeah. as much as possible. To avoid when there is a slushing, mm -hmm. to have bubbles, to have vaporization, and at the end of the day to have cavitation. I will put pressure on here. Okay. A lot of pressure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yes. And now I will shake it. Okay. okay? Yeah. I will shake it. Can you see a lot of bubbles? No. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing without okay. the pressure. Okay. Okay, I release the pressure. Now, no, 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 don't go, don't go. <laughs> don't go. I will shake it again. Okay. And? Yeah, little bubbles all whirling around. Yeah. Lot of bubbles. So, if I work, if the teams work with pressure inside the tank, they will avoid to have these bubbles and they will avoid to have this cavitation that with the new fuel is even worse because it creates a lot of evaporation, a lot of bubbles. And when the fuel is low, it's hot and it's shaking around, yeah. it can create a vacuum on both, on these pumps or on these pumps on the collector, and then don't sending the fuel to the main high pressure pump in the engine and the engine will lose power. Fabulous. Oh. Well, I think it's an amazing bit of kit. You Thank like you it? so much. I really like it. It's fascinating to it see works, it all huh? working. Be careful that it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. this, 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 Stop! <laughs> I don't know if I'm making it worse. I can't remember which button. Um, Abba, that is fabulous. Okay. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Uh, we've even got a crowd loving it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Um, so much to get our head around there with a yep. fuel tank and lots to get our head around here in Australia already with 
changes with the DRS zones yep. changing. We've got, we have four. Three. Now we've got three. What was your reaction to that? I think that the F1 and FIA is exploring with the new cars, with the DRS. So I'm happy they uh, react on that and they just uh, adapting to the best conditions and the safety conditions to the car and to the drivers and to the circuit. No problem. That. Well, thank you so much for your expert analysis and uh, tech demo, Albert Fabregat. We will thank see you, very you next much. time. Like <laughs>